TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. Tay-Tay's behind the camera. We're at Super Booth. I've hushed my voice because it seems very serious. And I'm here with the lovely... David Gibbons. Thank you, Thanks David. Thanks so much, Thank you. Head honcho. Thanks so Thank much for yeah. taking the time. Pleasure. Yeah. Like I said to you before, I, I mean, I couldn't not hear rumblings of this because I heard people talking about it in the hallway, but you've got yeah. a new product here. And what have you got to show? Yes, we do. The star of the show for us at Superboot this year is this Oberheim OBX8 desktop module. Uh, it's actually just exactly one year now since we introduced the OBX8 keyboard. Also at Superbooth in 2023. We love the show, it's a great show. And uh, as you probably remember, from day one, people were like, love it, where's the module? Or when is the module coming out, right? Like, and it's a predictable thing for us to yeah, we do. We love it, but it's really big. Uh, <laughs> but as many people loved it because it was the real deal size. Yes, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and so, you know, obviously this is something we always wanted to do. Uh, we've been working on a bunch of other projects as well, but this is, we're finally ready to come to market. It's here now, it's announced at the show, and uh, we're shipping it next month in June. Brilliant, I've got an awesome. I'm gonna do a full demo again. Be, when you do this, I get to play it again. It's yeah. fantastic. Um, so we'll do some audio in a minute, but also you said about another operating system on another product as well? Uh, yeah, we can, uh, we can talk about the Take 5 version 2 operating system as well. Cool. But do you want a few more details on this one first? Oh, yeah, please, yeah. please. Right. So uh, what people loved about the keyboard is that we stuck all of the classic OB synths in here, right? It's the OB8, the OBXA, the OBX, all in this thing. We didn't compromise on anything to get it into the desktop form factor. It's all still in there. It's eight voices. It's all the same flexibility in terms of switching out the filter sections mm -hmm. to get the characteristic sounds. Uh, uh, as you can probably see, it's using these like slightly smaller Oberheim knobs rather than the big ones that are on the keyboard. But that let us keep all of the same controls. So for people who love to just build up their own sounds or even modify the presets, they can get their fingers in there, they can make all the same adjustments, they can be as creative as they want to. We even uh, uh, kept the stuff that normally over on the left of the keyboard, the arpeggiator stuff, moved that up on the top there so you still got access to that on the desktop. And it basically has all the same sounds, all the same capabilities, all the same factory presets. It's all in there with no compromise, except now it fits in that space that you've been saving for your Oberheim OBX8. And that's the thing, once you want to like collect them all, Yeah. I mean, I certainly don't have this first, but enough space, so that's great. And I didn't even notice about the knobs. That's a really good, yeah. subtle thing. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, let's wander over to the Take 5 and talk about that. All right, sure. Hey. Can you uh, I'll see, see yeah, I'll, I'll grab some audio in a minute of me playing yeah. with the Take 5. But David, what's new about the operating system? So, uh, Take 5 operating system just came out uh, last month. It's mm -hmm. about 18 months since we introduced this product. Thousands of them all over the world. People love it. But we did a big upgrade with the version 2. We basically doubled the number of presets that's in there. So normally it had 128, now it's got 256 presets. Mm -hmm. Double the storage for user presets as well, so users can store their own variations on those presets. We added an all new digital effect type. So it's got two digital effects. So already got like a reverb and another uh, choose your own digital effects yeah. slot. And into that slot, in addition to the chorus and flanger and phaser and, and all that stuff, you can put in this lo fi tape, which is all new. It's like a warbly old distorted tape machine, super vibey, really lets you make like evocative sounds and makes actually the presets that are in there all sound different in different ways when you apply it as well. Uh, so that's really cool. And then on top of that, we added a bunch of new uh, basically sound design features that you can store per preset. So now you can basically take the two oscillators and have one of them bypass the filter. So you get almost like a layered sound where one is you know sharp and crisp and unfiltered and one goes through the filter envelopes. You can also do these envelope repeats where you can have these uh, repeating sections that evolve as you keep the keys held down, which makes these super great kind of evolving sounds over time. We let you do stuff with slew rates so you can have things kind of go up and down in response to the LFOs in interesting ways and just uh, and a bunch more. I won't, I won't go through every single line, but you know, lots of new kind of features. Whoa. And the designers of the presets, the 128 new presets, of course, they took advantage of all those new features to make the new sound sound interesting and better than it did before. So, and that's so like available, so existing owners can just get that? Free download, easy to install. And it means I get to make another video, and I love <laughs> yes. any form of tape wibbly wobbliness. So thanks. So okay, much. you're gonna oh. you're gonna enjoy this one then. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm trying yeah. to get some audio of that as well. Yeah. And thanks for taking the time. Yeah, I really yeah. appreciate it's it. Really my pleasure. And congratulations, yeah. on awesome.